Birthed in wisdom. Born again. Wisdom washes us clean with her perception and insight. A person who's truly born again is a person who went from being ignorant to being wise. Wisdom is always associated with water because she washes us clean with an insight we should have considered years ago. Her perception gives us a new insight of the God who created her. Before I washed myself clean with wisdom, I was very ignorant even at my early stages of having her as my principal spirit. I still was very ignorant because I didn't understand wisdom's reach. In John chapter 4 verse 13 it says, Jesus answered, Those who drink this water will get thirsty again, but those who drink the water that I will give them will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give them will become in them a spring, which will provide them with life-giving water and give them eternal life. And in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 6 it says, A person's words can be a source of wisdom, deep as the ocean, fresh as a flowing stream. Jesus was literally trying to say, his words will be a source of wisdom. Jesus operated on wisdom at every level and many people can't see that he was wise, not religious. And if Jesus was operating at his highest level of wisdom, it simply means wisdom was his principal spirit. If Jesus offered wisdom he has a wise spirit and God does also. There are many verses in the Bible like these for instance. In Luke chapter 12 verse 11 it says, When they bring you to be tried in the synagogues or before governors or rulers, do not be worried about how you will defend yourself or what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what you should say. But then in Luke chapter 21 verse 14 Jesus also says this, Make up your minds ahead of time not to worry about how you will defend yourselves, because I will give you such words and wisdom that none of your enemies will be able to refute or contradict what you say. Jesus clearly says more than once that he's giving them wisdom. But what I clearly want to highlight is he also clearly says this about the wisdom he's offering. The water that I will give them will become in them a spring which will provide them with life-giving water and give them eternal life. If the wisdom he's offering you will provide you with life-giving water, which also leads you to eternal life, then wisdom is the water that washes you clean. Not just any wisdom, God's wisdom. The same wisdom Jesus offers all throughout the Bible. Jesus was the example to follow. I don't think he really had the patience to explain wisdom in deeper details, and that's why I believe when he says this. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit, who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him, because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him, because he remains with you, and is in you. Jesus wasn't talking about any religious spirit. He was talking about wisdom. Only wisdom can say this boldly. Foolish people. How long do you want to be foolish? How long will you enjoy making fun of knowledge? Will you never learn? Listen when I reprimand you, I will give you good advice and share my knowledge with you. I have been calling you, inviting you to come, but you would not listen. You paid no attention to me. You have ignored all my advice and have not been willing to let me correct you. So when you get into trouble, I will laugh at you. I will make fun of you when terror strikes, when it comes on you like a storm, bringing fierce winds of trouble, and you are in pain and misery. Then you will call for wisdom, but I will not answer. You may look for me everywhere, but you will not find me. You have never had any use for knowledge and have always refused to obey the Lord. You have never wanted my advice or paid any attention when I corrected you. So then, you will get what you deserve, and your own actions will make you sick. Inexperienced people die because they reject wisdom. 
stupid people are destroyed by their own lack of concern. But whoever listens to me will have security. He will be safe, with no reason to be afraid. Wisdom is literally telling you she's your helper, and by the time you realize who she is, she'll be gone and laughing at your transgressions. Wisdom is telling you she can help you, and at some point people will realize that God's spirit isn't religious. If you can hear wisdom in the Bible telling you she was created before anything else, and still put a religious spirit before her existence, you deserve to be laughed at. If wisdom is deep waters, there isn't any religious spirit that knows more than she does. Wisdom comes from God himself and you would think people would understand how important it is to get something straight from the source. No, they would rather listen to something else. That doesn't come directly from him. Consider the source. 